the energy level was real big from you guys, from the crowd and all, and the, definitely the Kings had more energy. Did you feel that? Was it just a little flat for you guys in the beginning? I mean, we didn't execute the way we wanted to. I don't know how it, it looked on the court. Obviously, you're in the fight and you're trying to, you know, bring that competitive spirit on how tough a closeout game is and knowing that they were going to play with a lot of desperation. Um, we just had a lot of kind of mental errors. Um, and they took advantage of it and grabbed momentum early. I don't know if that was an energy thing or a focus thing or what it, whatever it was. Um, but you have to be able to learn those lessons quick because we put ourselves in a situation where um, we have to be the team that's playing with desperation and obviously on the road in a game seven. And, um, there's a lot of belief that we can do that. There's a lot of belief in every single guy that's going to be out there on the floor that we can make the necessary adjustments. And if it is an energy thing, you know, that's something you can control and, and correct it. So um, you got to embrace the challenge of what uh, what's in front of us um, and try to go get the job done. Thank you. Knowing how much you guys want to win this game and close it out, being at home, how concerned are you that some of the things you just mentioned were not where they needed to be to win the game? I mean, a loss exposes a lot of things because, you know, you go look at the film and you, you know, see where the improvements need to be made. Like, you got to be honest with yourself around what it was. So, I, like, I felt like we were all um, – on the same page yesterday when we were kind of preparing for the game and understand what the task at hand was, just didn't do it. So, not concerned at all. It's just, you know, the, the, the playoffs um, presents a lot of challenges and a lot of different scenarios you find yourself in. And, you know, the great teams figure it out. And, you know, that's the opportunity that's in front of us. I keep saying it's an opportunity because we have another game to play. We, we allowed ourselves, you know, at least that. And now we have to, you know, again, take advantage of, you know, the, the get right game and, and knowing how, how hostile that environment's going to be, come with the right focus, come with the right mentality. And like I said, I got the utmost faith that we can do it. Yeah, good. Too quick. Um, they they went small and spread it out. Um, how did that you know really kind of change the environment of the series? How did that affect the game? They made some uh, some nice adjustments to, to try to like you said give their their guards that uh, you know Fox Monk give them space to to try to drive. Um, Keegan got loose early. Her hit some shots you know late. Um, and it was a different look, so they have the ability to do that with certain personnel, and you know they push those buttons and it works. So we have to be able to make the adjustments because you assume it's going to be the same um, or a, a similar vibe. So you know that's the fun part about a, you know a series. You see a little bit of everything, and uh, that's why there's seven games. They've also been pretty transparent about they're just trying to run. Uh, as much as possible, uh, you know, and these now at the end of the series, it's a lot shorter between games, including, you know, 12-30 tip Sunday. Um, was there any extra fatigue today with the style of play of the series and also obviously a much quicker turnaround? I mean, uh, most, I'm pretty sure you got to ask everybody individually. It felt great and know we can keep up with that pace if we play with, you know, our brains at the same time and uh, understand how we can be effective. On, on the defensive end, you know, not turn the ball over. And, you know, just connect the game a little bit better than we did tonight. Um, it's very indicative of just whatever was, was lacking in the first play of the second half. Nobody got matched up. Keegan Murray's wide open for three. Like, that's not pace thing. That's just being connected. So um, those are the little things you're going to have to fix if – we want to get out of the series, and I know we can. Steph, what do you say to someone like Jordan right now? We need him, and he's more than capable, and he's shown you know the ability to impact games. And uh, you know, the big.
biggest thing for all of us, you know, JP included, is that next play mentality that is so important, you know, at this level, not just in the 82 game schedule, but also, you know, in a playoff series where you don't have to be kind of a victim of, of the last game. You always can, can kind of bounce back. And um, I have nothing but confidence in his ability to do that and understand, you know, to bring the right energy for, for, for this next game. So, you know, we've all kind of been there, been through those those growing pains of, of, uh, of a playoff experience and it happens, but we all can play better and we all got to play better if we're going to win on Sunday. Steph, you, you guys haven't had a game seven on the road very often. Um, do you remember your last one in Houston? And mm-hmm. can you, you know, take something out of that? I mean, yes and no. There's only a few guys on the scene that were in that uh, scenario, but it's every possession is important. How you start, how you Think your way through the game, uh, staying locked in on the the, the, the schemes that we're gonna come with uh, for for the night. But it's more so just the competitive spirit. Like you don't gotta overthink it either. It's just basketball. At the end of the day, it's just as the last game for one of the, one of these two teams. And you know, uh, coming out with. Uh, a, a sense of composure is a big thing, especially if you're on the road, because it's going to be hostile, and their you know their crowd's going to be into it, and there's going to be runs both ways. Just stay, stay locked in, stay composed. But it's just basketball; you just play. Steph, um, well, I just wanted to get your uh, assessment of uh, Malik Monk because uh, he's, he's their energy guy. I mean, Trey Lyles, you know, did some things there in that second quarter, but. Uh, Monk, he did talk about desperation yesterday in Sacramento about um, this this game here, but he, he brought it tonight. Just wanted to get your thoughts about him as a as a professional player. I mean, he's been an X factor in their wins, and when we've contained him, you know, I think most of those games we've uh, we've come out with the win. Even Game Five, um, he got hot a little bit down the stretch, but the first half we kind of kept him in check. So it's just a matter of. Lock it in on on his energy. He's he comes in. He, he plays aggressive. He looks to score. He, he was hitting his threes tonight. We kind of gave him too many open looks. So you obviously have to key in on him. And the way that they mixed up their lineup, he's featured a lot more. So got to make the adjustments. Steph, do you want to talk about the free throw you missed tonight? You guys under a lot of pressure tonight. You said what? Uh, free throws you missed. Free throws you missed. Free throws that I missed? Oh, it happens. You guys under a lot of pressure tonight? No, it's more, I mean, that's basketball and again, next play mentality. It's something I've lived by since, you know, my days at Davidson and uh, carry that mentality. Miss free throws, miss lost you know, games that you lose, whatever, you have another opportunity to come back. So um, maintain the confidence and your abilities. Hey, Steph, because it is a game set, I'm just wondering, will you say anything to the guys to make sure that they're playing free and loose and, and not kind of feeling the pressure over game seven? For sure. Um, that's to be expected, knowing uh, what's at stake. And, uh, you just want to make sure everybody's on the same page about what we're trying to do out there. So it'll be a fun you know, 36 hours, whatever it is, to get ready for the game. Mentally, vocally, physically, everybody getting their rest, knowing it's going to be a dog fight, and you got to be ready for it. You mentioned coming out with a sense of composure, and at times throughout this season, that's kind of been an issue, um, setting the tone early and stuff. How do you just ensure that you guys do get off on the right foot and don't, you know, play come, play catch up? You know, whoever our starting five is, it's on us to set the tone for how we're playing. And, I accept the responsibility of that. And I get play with a sense of desperation, but a sense of, I uh, use the word composure, because that is, you don't want to get too riled up um, and, and get outside of yourself. Like I said, it's just basketball. It's just, we know what to do. We have an identity of 
of who we are when we're playing our best basketball. And if we can find that, um, I like our chances. Um, and that's all you can think about. So that's the message. That's the the uh, that's the goal. And it's gonna be fun. Like embrace it. We're still playing basketball. Still have an opportunity to get out of this series.